Hey, good morning world. Today me and Kane are down in the Tennessee section of the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area. Today we're going to be hiking the Grand Gap Loop out to the Angel Falls Overlook. And then from there we might backtrack back to the John Muir Sheltoe Trace Trail and hike it down to the river and try to get out to the falls on the opposite side of the Angel Falls Trail. See if we can scramble the boaters down river to it. I think we should be able to check it out. Should be a pretty nice day out here. We're gonna keep driving out here, hit the trail, and go check out the views. All right, so right here is the trail junction for the John Muir Trail and the Sheltoe Trace. Sheltoe Trace heads downhill right here. We'll probably come back this way and head down that way to the river, see if we can't get out to the falls along the river. But for right now, we're going to keep hiking out to the overlook, the Angel Falls Overlook. Go check it out from above and then try to see it from below. All right, so here we are at the Angel Falls Overlook. You get an incredible view looking down the river from here. Got a nice exposed cliffside right there. I know I was up here one time 
somebody was rappelling off right there down to the river. That was pretty cool to watch, but beautiful day out here. A little bit of haze in the sky, but still got some great views. Got a nice view of the bend in the river right here. Looking back up through there. Beautiful day out here. Me and Kane are going to hang out here for just a little bit. Enjoy this great view. Nice breeze blowing right now. And then from here, before we head back and cut down on the Shell Toy Trace down to the river, see if we can get out to Angel Falls on this side, we might head on out to trail a little bit. We'll continue hiking up along that way, out that way, see if there's any little lookout points along through there. Never been any further than this point along the Grand Gap Loop Trail. So we might check that out before we cut back to the Shell Toey. But let's go see what we can see, I guess. All right, so we haven't had much luck finding another overlook lookout point along the Grand Gap Trail here, but we did find this cool arch right back here. Arch I knew nothing about being out here. I didn't really notice it was an arch till we kind of come up off the trail a little bit to it. And then I saw a little bit of light shining through the back back here. Got a nice little crack opening. Runs all the way along through there. Back on that side. Pretty cool. And then while in here taking pictures and videos, I noticed there were some uh, little bear tracks in the mud. I don't know if I can pick it up on the video here. Yeah. Right here. Bear track. I'll add a video on here. Showing more detail of the bear tracks, but pretty cool. Unexpected find right here. Always a nice bonus. But from here, I guess we're going to cut back, head back to the Shell Toey Trace and drop down to the river. See if we can't get up to Angel Falls on this side of the river.
All right, so here's the trail junction with the John Muir Trail, the Shell Toey Trace, and the Grand Gap Loop Trail. Instead of hiking back out to the car, back the same way we come in, we're gonna drop down here, take the Shell Toey Trace, down to the big south fork of the Cumberland River, see if we can't see Angel Falls from this side of the river. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't find a way down to Angel Falls on this side of the river. Everything's a little grown up this time of year. That's going to have to be something we come back try to do in the winter. We did pop out this nice little, nice little rapids right through here. Real peaceful. And then the real good part right here, get that cool view of the Angel Falls overlook back there. Pretty cool. I know from up there you can see down this part of the river, so it's kind of cool to 
know I was up there looking down here just a little bit ago. Now I'm down here looking up there. Pretty cool. But me and Kane are going to hang out right here on this little beach area along the river. Hang out here, cool off in the water, relax, get some food and water in us, and hike back up to the car. But right now, we're going to enjoy the peaceful sound of these little rapids. Yeah, so we've had a great stop down here along the river. Had a nice view of Angel Falls Overlook back there. And now it's time to hike back up there.
right, so me and Kane are loaded back up in the car now, making the drive back out of the woods. Got a great almost six mile hike, hiking out along the Grand Gap Loop, John Muir, and the Shell Toey Trace Trails. Today was all about unexpected surprises. Had some great views from the Falls Branch Overlook and the Angel Falls Overlook. And then we got surprised with a nice arch out on the Grand Gap Loop Trail, not far from the Angel Falls Overlook. Not sure if it has a name or not. I'll contact a few friends when I get home that may have some knowledge of the area. And there's also the Tennessee Landforms database I could check. We'll check that when we get home. I'll post the name of it in the video if I find it. And then I wanted to get out along the river, try to get down to Angel Falls on the opposite side from the Angel Falls Trail, but couldn't find a good spot to cut back. Everything is kind of overgrown this time of year. Need to come back in the winter and try to find that. But still ended up finding a nice little beach spot with the view of uh, Angel Falls Overlook from up the river. A spot along the river you can see from up at Angel Falls Overlook, so that was pretty cool looking up at where we were from where we were down on the river up to the overlook so that was pretty cool all in all it was a great day down here in the big south fork but like i said we're loaded up in the car now ready to head home but as always thanks for tagging along with me and the cane boy until next time